Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Stock Marketing Show. I'm Scott Briard. I am Kelly Briard. We are here to, well, we've been busy since the last episode. We have been busy. We um, took upon ourselves to learn something that we use for a different industry and then realized while we were building it, it completely related to investor relations and how CEOs and those of you in roles of IR can better um, retain investors, but better maintain communication and contact with investors. Why don't you tell them all about what we just did? Well, uh, we, uh, like Scott was saying, in a totally unrelated industry, um, create and created and designed and uploaded to the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store uh, a mobile app. And we were able to launch a mobile app for a public company. Um, which is sort of revolutionary. This is a this is a pretty big pretty big thing. So we have been super busy getting that uh, over the finish line, but yeah. right. So it's there. It's up. It's on our website. It's a service, and we're now offering um, incredibly affordable. We decided let's make sure that every company can afford it and have it. It is the next website. It is the next social media. This is completely the evolution in IR. It's exactly what we've called it. Uh, prior to the internet, they would have had investor presentations and mailed them out to potential prospective investors. The paper ones, the paper ones, the paper spiral. ones, right? Exactly. And then everybody in two thousand to two thousand and five were, well, we don't need a website for a public company. Who in the world's going to go to our company? And now, well, you pretty much don't exist as a public company unless you have a website. I think social media ten years ago, everybody was speaking about, wow, it'd be great if we had a LinkedIn company page or a a Twitter feed of information, news releases, company updates, financials, MDNAs, everything. Well, now everyone, it is an an IR mobile app that becomes incredibly important. Um, Some details, you wanna give them what's in this app and what's gonna make this so important for them to to sort of understand how it fits into their day-to-day use? Right, so when you think about um, the fact that you, I mean, everybody has a mobile phone, pretty much, you know, all adults in the United States and Canada all have mobile phones relatively, uh, smartphones. Um, And how many times a day do you pick that up? You might even be watching this video on a mobile phone right now. So you think about how often you pick up your phone to check your messages, to check WhatsApp, to check, you want to buy something off of Amazon, you want to check your banking, you want to look at your stocks on the you know stock app or whatever. How many times a day are you looking on your phone and you're opening an app every single time? Very rarely are you using the browser on your phone to go and look at something. The only time you're doing that is when they don't have an app. So hence the whole mobile app. <laughs> right. Um, we know more people use their phone than they do desktop right now to search the internet or to or tablets i guess fall into that category tablets do fall in with mobile apps not definitely not to the extent of iphone use the number is 92 times a day a north american adult opens their phone so some highlights to this and you need to understand you are getting your own mobile app your right. company name your company logo there on the screen of your phone popping up for those that download it, just like you send them to your website or you send them to your social media accounts, you can send them to your own mobile app. The great thing is when they go to a website, they go there once and they may never remember the domain name and get back there. They close the browser. If they go to your social media, exactly. They go to your social media, if they don't click follow or click connect, they may never come back again. But once somebody has downloaded your app, nobody ever gets rid of apps. Once they've downloaded your app, it is there. So. Key highlight for us is top of mind. As I'm saying, people open up their phone 92 times a day. Your logo is going to cross their mind and they're going to go, oh wait, did I buy shares? Hey, what's the stock price today? Any recent news releases? Let's check on the company bios. Did they come up with any financials? All these things that might come across their mind as they find your, your app that's there. The other really cool thing I think you want to speak about, like this is what makes us most brilliant of all, the notifications. So um, just like I'm sure that you've received a notification from Uber Eats or OpenTable to say, hey, you haven't booked a reservation in quite some time or hey, Uber Eats has got $5 off or whatever they've got going on. Um, your notification, the notifications we can send through your mobile app 
So every time you have a news release, we can send a real-time notification to everyone who has downloaded the app and tell them there's a news release there and they can click it and they can open it. They can read it right there in the app. Every time you have an investor presentation update, so we update the, the information in the app about your investor presentation, we can say, hey, this you know company has a new investor presentation or a fact sheet. Every time you've done uh, a video interview, which should also be included in the app and they're watching that interview right in the app, um, an article, anything, anything along those lines where you want to notify an investor that you were attending, uh, uh, an event or something along those lines, um, or that they can, they can register for some sort of webinar or anything like that, where you want to, you want to let the investor know you don't have to wait for them to stumble upon your website and you don't have to wait for the algorithm in Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or wherever you are to tell them that they may or may not have seen that specific social post you are able to or we are able to on your behalf notify an investor right away that this is happening and it takes them directly to a specific area in the app where they can there's a call to action to do something um, i think that that is absolutely incredible um, and one of the best features of what we have to author offer for sure so why <laughs> just us talk about this we're going to put up a qr code right here in the screen and by taking your mobile phone, which is obviously in your pocket or within arm's reach, as they all are for everybody, scan the QR code and there will pop up in either your, your iTunes Apple Store or your Google Play Store. The app will be there for the example we're going to put up. You can easily download and maneuver your way through the app. Um, key things on the app besides great notifications, but literally everything on their website now packs into Right. So part of what we're offering as the service, it is a low monthly fee. Um, we design and build your app using your branding, but we also update your app. So every time you have any kind of update, so that's a, uh, a web, any, any website update that you would make, you're also going to send it to us. So adding a news release, investor presentation, you have corporate bios that change, you have project information that changes, something that changes, you would send it to us. We will make that change in your app and be able to, you know, have that information right there in the palm of somebody's hand. Right. So, so how we got involved in all of this and you're probably sitting there going, wow, it's going to cost us tens of thousands of dollars. That's the key to all of this is that for anybody considering a mobile app and I don't even care what industry sector anywhere, it's with the fear of it's going to cost us tens of thousands of dollars to make and it's gotta be thousands of dollars a month to maintain this. So we've created a very low monthly fee with no setup fee. We are right. going to build it for you, but a 30 day build, about 30 days to get it up on Apple and Android. We'd love to move faster, but these are the times it takes to, to create these things much more intricate than building a website and very different than putting a website up on GoDaddy very quickly. This does require a lot of work with an Apple and Android. And like Kelly's saying, we're going to maintain this. So. Get us a news release within a business day. We're going to make sure it's up and running on your app right within that business day. Change co uh, corporate bio details, CFO changes, financial statements are updated. These are things we're going to get done within three business days. And our team is efficient and, and effective when it comes to working with mobile apps. So we're incredibly, right. incredibly excited to get everybody on board. And what we've tested out so far has worked out really well. Right. I mean, the, the fact that you can um, have the maintenance portion um, oftentimes with a website, they build your website and then they're charging you per time that they have to go in and change something for you. They leave you to your own devices and maybe you have to change it yourself or, you know, we've heard a variety of different scenarios. And the nice thing about this, it works very similar to the package that we have for our website. So if you, if you actually need a website, let us know, we do that too. But the website um, maintenance, it works the same way. So we just charge a monthly fee. We don't charge a setup fee. And every month, your your fee covers all of the changes. They're pretty much unlimited. You'd have to be a fairly large company to have. Right. <laughs> it's a fairly unlimited thing. We'll, we'll make as many changes as you would like us to make. So you're skeptical, and obviously you should be. Just like 20 years ago, you were, well, do we need a website? It's going to be expensive. And now you have one. 10 years ago, do we need social media? Well, now you know you do because investors are on LinkedIn and Twitter and, and Facebook and Instagram, and they're there by the millions, if not hundreds of millions. Um, 10 years from now, you're going, wow, it's a great thing we got that a mobile app quickly because 
you know, now they, they take even longer because they've got thousands of orders. Well, we're the only company in the world doing this, I believe. I, I don't, I've never ever heard of um, like a, a, an app that's built specifically for capital markets, like for investor right. relations. Um, as well, like, you know, from the investor relations side of things, it helps with company transparency. So, you know, you're you're sort of you're a little bit more real like obviously if you've got a website that's great if you've got social media that's great if, you know obviously if you haven't updated your social media since 2016 people are kind of wondering if maybe they should buy into your company having a mobile app adds that extra layer of transparency to your company as well so there's there's definitely a lot of benefits to having a mobile app here's one of the keys and i want you to go and do this for me a little exercise i'm going to do right now over this video Take out your phone and type in your domain name into your browser. So your company's domain name, type it into your browser. In your phone. In your phone. I'm going to bet one out of four, one out of five actually work properly. I'm thinking, well, yeah, I was going to say it's definitely it's, a you're, low you're running. You're running 20, 25% are actually mobile friendly. You can read all the text. You can see all the images. You can access all the videos. Livestock prices work properly. Most companies build websites and they build them on a desktop for a desktop and don't realize 60% of internet use is actually on a mobile phone. The key to an IR mobile app, they are built to look proper on your mobile phone. They open up clearly, text is legible, videos quickly open up, and the information is on the phone. When you go to a browser and you're, you're searching a website, it's gotta go find the website, you gotta wait the time for it to download. The actual information from your company is there in the person's phone, clickable, opens up immediately and all the information is readily available. It's not the time of waiting for a website to open up and does it look proper because most of them never do. Like this is, I think people, and I literally think in 10 years, they're gonna be, wow, I can't believe that. Right, this like was there's the first that, what, like you're trying, basically, there's no lag time between, like your phone has to, you know, find the internet, you know. Can you hear me now? Right. <laughs> but you know, it, it, you, it has to go to the server and get the information and bring it back to your phone. I mean, similar to what was going to happen on a desktop. This is like this is like Spotify or this is like Facebook or this is like your banking app or your like any number of apps out there, Amazon or something like that, where the information is is keyed and geared towards that app and it, that it's coming from a different place. So. Right. And updates in the background while you're sleeping, the app, if you have it set that way. <laughs> right. You know what's really cool? And it came out of um, one of the first apps we built last week from somebody, and they said, we're probably the Napster of the IR industry. <laughs> they were relating it to music and how Napster completely changed buying records and buying CDs. Right. This could, I don't think it'll replace websites, but it's going to certainly no. complement websites and yeah. social. Yeah, especially, I mean, everybody has it, like, every time, you know, you're out, for drinks with friends and somebody goes to the bathroom what do you do you pick up your phone you know you're waiting for the bus what do you do you pick up your phone you're on your way in your uber to a place and you're there by yourself you pick up your phone you think about how many times you spend five minutes scrolling through whatever right might as well be your investment and, and right well imagine investors that are doing that and your app is on their phone right <laughs> right no so, doubt now you're as excited yeah, as we there are you go. <laughs> So QR code came up earlier, scan it for an example of what we're doing. And most importantly, visit our website, stockmarketing.io. The IR mobile apps are listed there. And in fact, you can book yours right there online, purchase it, um, get set up for monthly payments, and we will get started immediately. Awesome. And any questions, reach out to us, Kelly or Scott. Our details are right there on our website or down below in this video. Awesome. Good? Yeah. Good. Thanks awesome. for watching, everyone. Have a great day.